One of the first things that we need to do anytime that we start up a new Photoshop file is to actually create a new canvas if the if an image doesn't already exist. And this is particularly apt anytime that we want to create a particular type of media. For instance, if I want to start up a new poster or a new business card or a new flyer, I need to start up a canvas in a particular size. And the way to go about that is anytime that I go to the file and new menu, this is the uh, dialog box that I get up, the new dialog box. And so the first thing, not that I have to, but it's always a good idea to actually put a name in here. It will label the window that I'm working on and it will kind of make things a lot easier for me. So uh, the project that I'm going to work on at the moment is just a concert pro a poster for an orchestra. So Verdi Concert is what I'm going to name uh, the file as. And uh, the preset default Photoshop size, you can see what that is here. It's 16 by by 10 centimeters, or 12 centimeters rather. Uh, rather than going for this default Photoshop file, I effectively want to make an A4 poster. So if I drop that down, uh, A4, A3, A2, A1, A5, all of those different paper sizes are actually international paper sizes. So if I go into international paper, and uh, it already comes up as A4 there, uh, but I can switch it to any of these other international paper sizes settings. If I wanted to slightly alter the different sizes there of A4, I could easily get in here to the width and the height box and change those figures slightly. But in general, I'll just go for an A4. Uh, but if I wanted to add in an extra bit of a bleed there for width and height, that might make sense. And then I'm down to the resolution. Now the resolution, it's a kind of a, a moving target, but in general there's guidelines for either print or screen. If I want to print this document out, that I'm going to send it to a printer, they're going to print out a lot of different A4 paper uh, posters, then I would generally try and go for 300 to 320 dots per inch or pixels per inch. If, on the other hand, I'm going to use this image as part of a website or something else that's going to be shown on screen, uh, I would reduce that resolution down to 72 dots per inch, which is quite a difference, but just for screen images, uh, lower resolutions are perfectly okay. Then I'm down into the uh, RGB color mode. Uh, the color mode, I could switch it between RGB or CMYK if I'm uh, actually going to be sending to a printers. Just for the moment though, I'm just going to hold it on RGB color. It can always be changed later on. Uh, background contents is just the contents of the background layer that's going to be put on first of all. And then lastly on this dialog box, the last thing I'll draw your attention to is just the image size at the moment. Based on an A4 paper of 300 dots per inch, I'm actually going to end up with an image size with just a single layer blank background of 24.9 meg, so it's quite a beefy, uh, very large file size, so just be aware of that when you're uh, saving or starting up different images. Okay, and that's how to create a new canvas of particular sizes in Photoshop.